Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, 77 or a 70 centimeter wide by 190 uh, centimeter long uh, kite board today. First, we started off with a EPS two pound blank, uh, a little bit wider than 70 centimeters long, a couple inches uh, long uh, longer. I take my took my pattern, made it up on AccuShaper and print it out on uh, board CAD. Took that, attached it to two pieces of uh, 1 8 inch eight masonite, uh, cut that pattern out, bolted it on with some screws, made sure that the uh, front, back, top sides are both even on both sides. Uh, then came by and placed a 6 inch reference line all the way across and one straight down center. Uh, when we're cutting the board, you'll see how much uh, when you'll, you'll see how much uh, that is an advantage. You can uh, make sure that you're uh, cutting evil, evenly above uh, with the wire as you go out or get six inches, and then you can use the center of the bow and make sure that's aligned so you have even tension on both sides of the hot wire co cutter. This is our handy dandy four foot by two foot hot wire bow cutter. Uh, it's got a little switch on the side here. I'll turn it on right now so it's uh, give it a couple seconds to heat up before we cut this thing. Alright, uh, we've got, as you can hear, the fan on in the background. Uh, always <laughs> It's nice to have a, ni a decent amount of uh, circulation. Because as you'll see, this is uh, a nice little bit of smokiness when it cuts through there. Alright. All even, both sides. We're all set and ready to cut. Sit back and relax. Mask on, safety first. Uh, safety drift. You're just trying to kill me. There we go. <laughs> Got the bow cut. Grab it evenly. Try not to burn your GoPro camera. That is stuck. Can't be expensive. And seeing that it's borrowed from my dad because he's got a fist. Even close on the other side, so we'll make sure that's okay. Go right down the center. Turn this out for a second. Try to make position. See the uh, hot wire cutter actually turns off pretty quickly. And it's not carrying that. Uh, you know, it's not charged. It cools down real quick. So that's nice. 
back from right here. Yeah, I got good contact on the right side and it rippled up over on this side so I got high. So we're going to attempt to salvage that. This would probably be a job that would be better if it's done with two people.
can see when I had the uh, ventilation on, the uh, EPS foam cutter is actually uh, melting the foam, creates a nice even cut, but it also produces a nice look. Probably isn't going to kill you like probably are the uh, PU foams, but uh, safety first. Make sure for the heart If your board doesn't turn out right, you can always just buy a new buy one from uh, Alex for the 6 r 69 le That's the next uh, 70 lead, but okay, there's a weight. Oh, and by the way, you probably will end up spending more on your fin than you will on your board if you build one yourself. It's not saying that the board is cheap, that's just saying that the fins are awesome. But, a good CNC manufactured pair of fins is worth every freaking penny. There you go. You can see it. Uh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> that's my favorite part, the, uh, the smoke at the end. <laughs> After we're done, I'll let that uh, burn off and cool, uh, clean itself. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Gary Menk over at uh, KiteRacing.com uh, for his awesome uh, uh, blog on how to build your own uh, kite racing board. Thanks for joining us.